Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about something quite controversial and I know that there will be educators out there that don't agree with what I'm about to say, but I want to talk about using AI tools beyond just as a chat bot. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about how to use AI tools in the classroom, that's beyond just using it as a chat bot, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this week I wanted to address, you know, why we can actually use AI tools in so many different ways than just using it as a chat bot. I go into so many classrooms and I see students sitting individually at their computer working in isolation with their chat bot. And they're using that chat bot like a tutor, like, you know, help me uh, explain what does a p-value mean? What is a normal distribution? Uh, describe the formulae and explain why binomial distributions work in which situations. And to me, that's like Googling an answer. Uh, you know, how we are, I, that, to me, that seems like we're using AI tools at such a low level of just as a tutor transmitting information from one person to another. Instead of cultivating an environment, a social constructivist environment based, based on Vygotsky's work in 1978, um, that we want to encourage people to be able to learn from each other in a collaborative situation and to construct meaning and understanding from their own prior understanding and knowledge. So let me go through some ideas with you that is using AI tools beyond just using as a chat bot. Here we go. I wanted to share some really important points with you. And so that's why I provided them in this presentation. So why do I think that we can use AI tools beyond just chat bots in the classroom? Imagine if I placed a human tutor next to every student in my classroom, would that create the optimal learning environment 30 students, 30 tutors, 30 separate conversations. The result is absolute complete isolation. And I think that when we use chatbots in our classroom, it misses the rich collaborative discourse and social construction of knowledge that defines deep understanding and learning. And so I've just got some points here about how chatbots can create isolated learning experiences. I want to stress again, I'm not anti chatbox. There is a time and a place for them um, outside of the classroom to provide support and scaffolding for students. But I think in the classroom, we can actually use other methods, pedagogical strategies to encourage and enhance learning. So I think using chatbots creates this environment of individualized learning. Um, it's an AI driven conversation with the chatbot. There's very limited peer engagement, reduced student interaction, and it's a private conversation, a one-to-one -one with AI interaction. So, you know, I, I wanted to also share some research with you in terms of the hidden crisis of personalized learning. You know, this is such a buzzword now, and I've made several videos on my opinions on personalized learning, which has now become individualized learning. And this report said that 52% of high school students feel engaged in school, only 50%. So what about the other 40%? That's about half the students in a class feel completely disengaged if we look at the other side of the coin. And personalized learning, yes, when we put a computer in front of a child and they're looking at a chatbot and, and interacting with that chatbot, it's quiet, it's efficient, it's personalized, but it's not connection. It's not collaboration, it's not engagement, and it's not how students learn best. So here is some beautiful research on the power of collaborative learning. I'm a huge fan of Vygotsky's social constructivism. It's a philosophy that I try to adopt in my classroom. And it's based on the foundation that learning is a social process where students achieve higher levels of understanding when working together. 
And then based on Mercer and Resnick's work on structured dialogue, research indicates that structured dialogue strengthens reasoning, memory and comprehension through verbalization and idea comparison. So we want to give our students that opportunity to share ideas, to process, to synthesize ideas by uh, having discourse and communicating with each other. Students are more motivated to persist when they feel a part of the classroom community where their voice matters. So moving forward, here are some practical steps that I'm going to recommend in terms of AI use. Let's think, rethink about AI evaluation. Focus on AI's potential to enhance collaborative learning and not just individual speed or efficiency and apply the private tutor test. I don't think that we should be encouraging that private tutor uh, analogy in our classrooms with chatbots. I think avoid using AI tools that mimic one-to-one -one tutoring and prioritize those um, and then prioritize those that foster shared learning experiences. So again, I want to stress I'm not anti-chatbots, but you know, I, I am skeptical about the use of chatbots in classrooms in terms of whether they align with social constructivism and structured dialogue. And then of course, use AI to foster inquiry. Don't halt it. A lot of chatbots just give you the answer directly, which encourages that transmission method. We don't want to uh, encourage that transmission method of learning. We want students to go through productive struggle, to be able to really grapple with ideas and I know that we can program chatbots to be able to pose questions back, but it's still encouraging that one-to-one -one interaction. And the core question is, are students engaging with each other or just disappearing into those digital bubbles? And lastly, I would just want to share, you know, let's build better classrooms together by using AI tools that enhance learning through a social constructivist approach, utilizing structured dialogue. So use AI for enhanced connection. Let's foster creativity and critical thinking with AI tools so that students then are moving beyond rote learning. Let's empower our learning communities. Classrooms can become these vibrant learning communities where all students feel heard and they are part of something larger. And let's prepare our students for the global world. Today's students need to collaborate across cultures and disciplines to thrive in an interconnected world. Okay, so there are my thoughts about using AI tools beyond chatbots for the classroom. Uh, I know that it's quite controversial what I'm saying because so many uh, different classrooms that I see are using AI chatbots and even resources, um, you know, the latest digital resources that different educational publishers are coming up with are just using AI tools as a chatbot to get answers. And I personally just don't see the value of that. Let's use AI tools to enhance inquiry, to develop critical thinking and creativity, and use AI to really redefine and transform education. I'd love to hear your thoughts about using AI chatbots in the classroom. Um, please feel free to put it in the comment section below, and I hope to see you next time.